Want to improve your Android to save storage, use less battery, and protect your privacy? I'm Jessica from techboomers.com, and in this video, I'll tell you about 10 types of apps you should remove from your Android devices. Now let's get started. The first type of apps we'd recommend deleting from your Android smartphone is bloatware. Bloatware are apps that come pre-installed on your device that are unnecessary. These can include any Google apps you don't actually use, as well as apps made by your device's manufacturers, such as the Samsung smart home app, emoji apps, etc. The second category of apps we suggest getting rid of are games. Games can be hard on your Android in several ways, including taking up lots of storage space, using excessive amounts of cellular data, and draining your battery power. If you have games on your Android that you don't really use, they should be deleted. Along the same lines, the next type of apps we recommend removing are apps that waste storage. Apps that tend to take up a lot of storage include streaming apps such as Netflix, YouTube, Spotify, and more. You can see which apps are taking up the most space on your specific device within your settings. Open your settings app and select battery and device care. Then tap storage. Select apps. Here you can see a list of all your apps sorted by the amount of storage they take up from most to least. If you can, remove the ones that are using the most space. The fourth category of apps you should get rid of are apps that track your location. For privacy and safety reasons, as well as to conserve your mobile data and battery life, you should delete any apps that use your device's location. Navigation apps like Google Maps and social media apps like Instagram and Snapchat, as well as other apps may be using your location. If you want to keep one of these apps but stop it from accessing your location, you can turn off location access in your Android settings. To turn off location access to all apps, open your Android settings, then scroll down and tap Location. To disable location access, tap the switch in the top right corner. When the switch turns gray, location access has been disabled. The next category of apps you should delete are apps that drain your device's battery. This can include streaming apps, video calling apps, navigation apps, and more. To see which apps are using up your battery power the most, open your settings. Then scroll down and tap Battery and Device Care. Select Battery. Then tap View Details. Here you'll see a list of the apps and features that use your battery the most, listed in order of percentage of battery power used from most to least. Our sixth category of apps to consider removing from your Android are any apps you cannot look away from. These will vary from person to person, but things like social media apps, games, and streaming services could fall under this category. These apps will use the most amount of your screen time and likely overlap with the apps that use the most of your battery. To improve both your own productivity and your Android's performance and battery usage, consider removing any of these apps that make you never want to put your phone down. The next type of app you should delete are apps with privacy issues. Some apps may have access to information you don't want them to be able to access, like your phone number, text messages, photos, location, and more. Apps that may be accessing your data without you realizing it can include social media apps like Facebook and Instagram, cloud storage apps like Google Drive and Dropbox, gaming apps, weather apps, and more. You can control what data an app has access to in each app's permissions settings in App Manager. To control what data an app has access to on your device, open your Android settings. Select Apps. From your list of apps, select the app you want to see permissions for. To see what data the app has access to, tap Permissions. If there's any type of data you don't want that app to be able to access, tap it, then select Don't Allow. If you'd like to see all the apps that are allowed to access that type of data, select See All Apps with this permission. Then you can tap Apps and disallow access to this type of data for each one. Repeat these steps to turn off access to all the types of data you wish to restrict access for. Another type of app you can get rid of are apps that serve the same functions as other apps you use instead. For example, if you have more than one web browser app, you can delete all but the one you use the most. Maybe you have multiple photo or video editing apps but only really use one of them, or multiple media streaming apps that you don't use. 
Pare down your selection of apps by removing those that serve the same purpose as another app that you use more frequently. Another type of app you should remove from your Android device are QR code scanning apps. Many of us downloaded apps for this purpose during the pandemic, but now almost all devices have this functionality built right into the camera app that comes pre-installed on your smartphone. Though you may occasionally still need to scan a QR code here and there, your camera app can do that for you without the need for an extra app. At last, we've reached our 10th category of apps you should delete. This category is simply any app that you do not want, need, or use. If you have any apps that you don't make use of that fall outside of the previous nine categories we discussed in this video, go ahead and get rid of them if you don't need them. Any app that isn't useful for you at this time can be deleted, and if you ever want it again in the future, you can easily re-download the app from the Google Play Store. That does it for our roundup of the 10 types of apps you should delete from your Android smartphone now. To learn more tips and tricks for Android devices, check out our playlist of Android tutorials. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech videos like this one every week.